The first step is to figure out if this is going to be an acidic or basic salt because that's going to be the equation you need to use to figure out your pH. So take a minute, pause, and do that. So your K plus stems from a strong base, so that's great news because you don't have to worry about it reacting with water or hydrolyzing, hy hydrolyzing sorry. Um, and then CN minus is from a weak acid. So that's where we're gonna focus. So we're doing CN minus plus water, double arrows. You'll get some HCN, which is a little weird. You get some weak acid, but you're also going to get um, lots of OH minus. Right, so that means that this is a basic salt, right? So in the end, we should expect a pH greater than seven. Now you're just gonna set up your ice chart. So pause the video and set that up. So there's my ice chart. Now this is um, producing hydroxide, so we need a KB. So if you look up in this chart, we do have a KA for HCN, but we need to convert that into um, a KB. So KB is going to be equal to KW over KA. And when you plug those numbers in, that of course is the constant for autoionization of water and then the KA from the chart for the HCN. You're going to get a KB for its conjugate base, the CN minus of, what did I get? 2.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, so then when you set up your equilibrium expression, setting up your equilibrium expression, plugging in for your equilibrium expression, and then you have your KB value. When you solve for X, I got 0 0.0039. Remember, that's your concentration of hydroxide ion. So a couple roots here, but I'm going to um, take the negative log of that and get my pOH which would be 2.41. The question that was asking for pH, so take 14 minus the 2.41. My pH is gonna be 11.59. Um, that's a basic pH, and we did predict that that was gonna be a basic salt, so that all checks out.